Hey, welcome to part two of the beginner's car modeling series. In part one, we created the base mesh and the front windows glass. And in this video, we will continue further. But before we jump into Blender, if you are new here or haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe so you're always updated of my new upcoming videos. And if you want the finished blend file, you can get it on my Patreon or you can find it on Gumroad as well. The links will be in the description. Well, back to Blender. This is where we left off last time. Now we will create the side glass. Jump to side view. Control R to add an edge loop. Put it right between the front and back doors. SY0 to make the edge loop straight. Control R to add another edge loop. Select the top vertices and double G to slide them back a little. Select the bottom vertices and SY0 to make them straight. Well, Control R to add another edge loop. Go to face lag mode, select one face. I to inset. Now select the other face and press shift R. And it will automatically repeat the last action we did, which was doing inset. Even for the back face, shift R to repeat. But this time we have one more face which we don't want. Since this is a beginner's tutorial, I am gonna leave it for now so we can see what's gonna happen and how we can fix that problem. Okay, time to extrude back the windows. Extrude it down a little, then GY to move it back. Extrude the back window and move it inward as well. You can clearly see we got uneven faces right in the middle. We will fix them in a while. Time to extrude the side faces and then move them in a little. Now it's time to fix the back. We can clearly see we have two unwanted faces. So select both of them and then X to delete the faces. Now select edge select mode. Select all the edges and then G to move them along X axis. And it's fixed. It seems I missed the bottom edges, my bad. Simply select both of them and then GX to cover up the blank space. Well, the windows part is done. Now it's time to create the bottom part for our tires. Go to side view. Add an edge loop. SY0 to make it straight, double G to slide it. So what we're gonna do now is to go to vertex select -like mode and select the middle vertex. Now I'm gonna move it upward a bit and match it with the curve. But you can clearly see the windshield vertices are totally out of place. So I'm gonna select all these vertices and match it with the reference image. Yeah, it's looking quite good now. Now 
now we will add two more edge loops before we go forward i will arrange these vertices a little bit select face select mode select the two bottom faces and then x to delete back to vertex select mode Add two more edge loops. Double G to slide and now we will create space for the back tire. The process is much the same. Add an edge loop right about there. Select the two bottom faces and delete. Arrange the vertices. Add two more edge loops like we did before for the front. Back to front. Select all the end vertices. E to extrude. And then scale them down. And now GZ to move them downward a little bit more. I'm gonna make these bottom vertices straight a bit. The process is merged the same for the back. Select the end vertices. E to extrude, then scale them down. And then move them downward a bit. Select face lag -like mode and delete the inner two faces. Alt select the end vertices. E to extrude and then scale them down. Turn off mirror so we can watch it from inside. Now E to extrude, scale it up a little. Extrude it again along X axis. S X zero to make the vertices straight. G X to move them inward a bit more. So now we should fill in the gaps. 
but uh, you can clearly see the vertex count is uneven so what i'm gonna do is that i will bring in one more loop cut select edge select mode select these two edges and then press f to fill in the face now select these two edges and then press f to fill in the face select and move them to the side now we can see there is a triangle at the corner we can simply make it a square by adding one more loop cut right about there select this vertex and move it backward a bit we clearly see we have a square now now select these four vertices and press F to fill in a face. Adjust the shape a little bit. Now it's the same process for the other side. Select these two edges, extrude them up a bit, go to vertex select mode, select these two vertices, press M to merge. Now merge at last. Now it's the same process for the other end. Select the two vertices, press M, merge at last. Repeat the same process again. Extrude the edges. And then merge. And now we have a square left. We can simply select all the vertices and then press F to fill in the face. Now it is the same process for the back.
well it was the most complex part for the new beginners but we did it and now we have a model like this we can turn back on the mirror and the bevel modifiers and always keep in mind that keep on saving so you don't lose any work well this is it hope you loved the video and if you did then please like the video and subscribe so you're always updated of my new upcoming videos well see you in part 3 take care till then happy blending